Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to learn how to schedule future tasks. For example, if you want to repeat a task n number of times at a specified period in the future, then how we can achieve that? For example, let us suppose that you want to take a backup of the entire system on a daily basis or let us suppose on monthly basis. So you don't want to run that command daily or at the end of the month because you might forget it or you might not be there. So you want this to be automatically done. So how such tasks are possible? Today we are going to learn that. So the command that we are going to use to schedule these future tasks is cron tab. So there are different ways to use this command like you can use the minus E option, minus L option and minus R options. To schedule a job for the future, we need to specify that job in a fixed format. The format contains six fields or you can say that there are six columns that you need to specify. So the six columns are you need to tell the minutes, hour, day of the month, month, day of week and then the command. So whenever the first five fields that is the minutes, hours, day of the month, month and day of the week they match the current date and time, the command which you have specified in the sixth field will be executed. So let me give you an example how we will do it. Now whatever task you want to schedule in the future, you need to use the cron tab command using the minus E option. Minus E is to edit. So it will open a file. So you can see in my case it is opening the file using nano. In your case, it might be nano or it might be V editor. Doesn't matter. Okay, you just need to know how to use the editor. So I'm just going to delete all these comments. So the comments were actually telling how to use this cron tab file. Okay. Now I have told you that there are going to be six fields. So the first field is the time or the minutes at which the scheduled task is going to run. So let us suppose I want to run a task at 52 minutes hours are this 21 hours means 9.52 in the night and then the day so today is 24th of Jan so I am using one star and last now I need to write the command I want to store the date in the file date.txt okay so this is my job which I want to run at 9.52 on 24th Jan now the time on my system is 9.52 51. So if I show you the current contents of date.txt file, so you can see this is the current content. Okay. Now once the command automatically runs at 9:52, this data will change. Okay. Now the time on my system is 9:52. So if I recheck the contents of date.txt, you can see now the contents have automatically changed. How? Because in cron tab we have specified the command date redirection to date.txt. Similarly you can write any number of commands or any number of jobs in this file and whenever they match the time they will aut automatically execute. The next option that you can use with cron tab is minus L. Minus L is going to list the contents of the cron tab file. Okay, So there is only one command which you have scheduled. So the list is showing only one command. Another option to use with cron tab is minus R which is going to delete whatever commands are there in the cron tab file. Okay, so it has deleted. If I recheck, there's nothing in the cron tab. Now some important points to remember while you write any job or the six fields that you specify for any job. First point is don't care or always. So if you write star anywhere in the first five fields, this means it will happen anytime or always. For example, if I write star in minutes, this means that that particular command will execute every minute. Okay, so this particular query star star 14 Jan star and then the command tar cf etc dot tar slash etc. This means that the system will take a backup of the etc directory every minute on 14th Jan of every year. Okay. 
Next is you can give a range. So x to y something like this for example. Now star. So this means this is going to repeat every minute 5 to 14. So second column is for hours. This means the command is going to repeat every minute but from 5th hour to 14th hour. 14th Jan. Okay. So the command here I am using the same command to take the backup. But this time I am not doing it every minute every hour. So it will be executed between 5 a.m. to 3 p.m. on 14th Jan of every year. Now next is list. List means that you can give separate values. For example, in this case I have given Monday and Friday. Okay, so this particular command to take backup is going to run every minute because it is star between 5 a.m. to 3 p.m. is the range on every Monday and Friday, not every day but on every Monday and Friday. Next is star slash x. This means an interval of x. For example, if I write star slash 3, this means that the command will run every third minute. Okay, so the system will take a backup of the etc directory after every three minutes. Now, the next important point to remember is that whenever the day of the month and day of the week are something other than star then the command will execute when either of the two fields match okay now look at the example so the day of the month is 15th and the day of the week is tuesday right now it might not be possible that on 15th it's tuesday for every month okay or for whatever month you are talking about so what will happen whenever it is either 15th or the day is Tuesday the system is going to take a backup of the etc directory okay so the command will execute on 15th of every month and on every Tuesday so this is a very important point to remember in the next video we are going to practice some questions based upon whatever we have learned in process management